Hi everybody, today I'm off to Willow Farm Retreat at Woodall Spa. It, I'm going to be there about five days I think. The weather does look like it's going to be um, calm, not going to be raining. On Saturday it's going to be a country western night. So I'm going to be chilling, I've got a brand new awning and I'm going to attempt to put this brand new awning up on my own with my disability. So that'd be interesting to see. And what else I'm going to be doing, I have no idea. So come along and see what I do. So I'll see you all later. Bye. I've arrived, I've been here an hour, just taking my time. Look at the state that I've left it. Lovely evening. So I decided to put the awning up and it's about nearly seven o'clock. Oh no, 20 past six. And I'm gonna see how long it takes me to put it up. So this is now, and then hopefully the next bit will be up. And I'm trying to do it on my own. So here we go. I think the actual awning is where I would like it. It's nice and sturdy. Actually, they're quite easy to get up once you know how. I'm a no, I don't know how yet. But over there, I'm going to be putting my shower tent. Uh, so then I've got some privacy. It's out the way as well. So I'll be doing that a bit later. I need to just rest my ankle a bit. Went to uh, Woodall Spa Village. Um, it's really quaint, really. I've taken some videos and pictures for you to have a look at. Look at. It's got a lot of history here with the dam busters. So if you'd like to check it up, uh, if you're into planes, and you can go paddle board in here. And the farmer actually owns that part of the land near the river. So it's private property, but we can park on there if you are camping here, which is going to be really good for people who are paddle boarding. Um, and it's used quite a lot. So, and also I've heard that uh, the Jolly Farmer is what I call him. He sometimes arranges for the van he takes them down with his trailer, puts the paddle boards on and takes them down. He's done that in the past. If there's a big group coming on here uh, and they organise it with them, he'll probably do it for you as well. So I would actually highly recommend this site for group uh, campouts. It's nice and spacious. Yeah, it's got a big event coming up, 1940s. I think there's going to be between about 60 to 80 uh, caravans and motorhomes on this site and got way over there as well. There is a nice little dog walk area. There's going to be a couple of port There is fresh drinking water. There's an awesome point as well. And if you can hear that drilling, they're putting up a marquee. He's uh, finished the stage area where we can all have a dance later. I can't, I can just probably do chair dancing. So they've actually got a massive pit fire as well, so that'll be on. Um, I'm going to attempt to fly my drone at night time. I've never done that, so we can see the effect. He puts loads of lights up as well. And I've done all my lights as well, so hopefully they've been charged by the sun because it's been absolutely beautiful today. And I got my bunting up, which Julie made for me over a year ago. So Deb and Tia. So inside the awning, it looks very bare. Uh, so I've got a new carpet, uh, which is nice and warm and it's quite spacious but what's going to happen is I've got some friends come in on Saturday and I'll be pumping up a double bed in here so they can stay over the night and enjoy themselves and I sleep in the van which everybody knows it's all set up got the telly done the signal's okay and I haven't tried it with the telly yet so it's for the smart TV but anyway I'll find that out later Friday night I'm going to be watching the England football match uh, the men's the ladies did really well on the last match they played and the sun's gone in and I was just about to chill put my foot up just chill and I've also got a drink with me and guess what it is no it's not what you think it is guess what it is it is Bud Zero so I actually quite like this it's two and a half sins for my slimming world because I'm not mobile anymore um, as mobile I'm putting weight on I'm, I'm keeping it on so I'm trying to minimize the extra weight I'm putting on 
but I still like to have a drink but at least that's reducing the calories so at least I'm having a go apparently people are going to be turning up it's, it's Thursday today Some people have turned up through the trees there's uh, electric points so you can get electric but there isn't many here so you have to book quite early if you want to so I think a lot of them are turning up on Friday uh, not sure how many people's turning up but I am really looking forward to this so I would like to say thank you very much to Willow Farm Retreat at Woodall Spa I have been here before but it pelted it down with rain all weekend so of course rain can make it a bit boring but it wasn't their fault they did everything possible and still made it very entertaining and the weather's going to look good over the weekend so I'm going to sign off now and carry on drinking my non-alcohol beer log in later Good morning, it is Friday at Willow Farm Retreat. The weather is a bit dull but it's still quite warm. So I'm sitting out here, I'm having a cup of tea and then I'm going to do a shower and have my breakfast. I'm going to have a cup breakfast. If I remember, I'll take a photo of it. The farmer, which I'm over there, the farmer, Jeff, with the yellow tractor is just preparing the field ready for a busy weekend. Today, my main thing after that will be just chilling, organising my area, tidying it up because I've got visitors tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. So tonight, I will be watching uh, England match, the men's England match and uh, Jeff, Jeff's the tractor's coming again. All right, bye. This is Jeff the farmer. <laughs> Well, I've just had a brilliant shower in the pop-up tent. The water was just right. I boiled the kettle, poured it into the cold water, got it to a temperature my body can cope with because of my fibromyalgia, and I feel nice and clean. So I took my time, no need to rush. I'm chilling, I'm relaxing. So I'm gonna have a brunch because I missed my breakfast. So on my brunch, I'm going to show you, this is what I'm eating. I'm gonna be having eggs, bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes, and Italian style sausages. They're made of chicken. And then I'm gonna follow it off with a cup of tea. And that's how you finish off a breakfast. Oh, I'm gonna have a bit of brown sauce on the side and maybe a slice of bread. I'll show you a bit more of the apron. What do you think of that? Yeah, my logo. But the reason why, the reason why I wear an apron is because Tia, she molts a lot and likes to sit wherever I sit. So maybe the odd occasion I might get some dog fur on me and I don't really want it on in my food. She's not impressed, look. <laughs> so she took my chair. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on so I don't wanna burn my sausages. I think I've done a bit too much. I don't think I'm gonna get me eggs somewhere on there. I'm not having eggs now, I think there's plenty there for me to eat. The sauce, the bacon looks really thick. So I'm not, I don't know whether I'm going to like the bacon. If I don't like the bacon, then I will have some eggs. So, nearly there. Just waiting for this lot to get a bit softer. Cooking it on slow heat. Not slow heat, I mean low heat. And the sausages were frozen, so I've been cooking them slowly. So this is a question for you all. What do you like to cook on a brunch? So put it in the comments and give me some ideas, something different for brunch, please. Because same stuff, but all that is really healthy. Oh, apart from the sausages are two sins each. So that's six sins I've used today.
laughs and smiles She gives to me free It's alright, she says it's alright Well, Miranda went away Took her cat and left the lane That's the way that it goes That's the way Good afternoon everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, the day after, well, my lovely friends helped me take down the awning, the air awning, um, went down quite quick, a lot of practice I need to make it go down a lot quicker, so I keep looking down at my leg, my leg's wet for some reason, and I've cleaned up, everything's put in the storage box behind me, the awning is outside underneath this cover because it's going to rain tonight, and then I've got my chair down under this cover if i fancy in the morning to sit outside with a cup of tea no rush in the morning to go um i'm just going to take my time i'm absolutely whacked when you got visitors it, you bring a lot with you and you've got a lot to pack simple as isn't it so anyway the weekend i've had a lovely weekend the weather's been hit and, slightly hit and miss but majority dry the wind's been a bit chilly, but when that sun came out, oh, it was lovely and hot. The evening went down really well. Uh, brilliant music. The band was really good. Uh, the Jolly Farmer, thank you very much for a brilliant weekend. And hopefully see you again for the 1940s. So like I said earlier about this campsite, it is really good for um, group campouts, rallies, anything like that. So if you're interested in anything like this, I will put the name of their Facebook page in the comments so you can contact them yourselves. Um, I think it's very reasonably priced. I think each event is different price. I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that. And what I'm going to do right this minute is I'm going to take tea out for a little bimble. And there is like a dog walking area that goes all the way round, around the back of these trees and then comes out on the other side of my van. So, as you can see, she looks quite alert there. Mind you, the reason why she looks quite alert is because she's been, she slept for about three hours just a minute ago. Look at her. Bless her. Anyway, it's time for chilling now because after a small event or any camping, after I've packed up the majority of my stuff, I like to stay that extra night. So I'm more relaxed tomorrow because tomorrow, when I get home, I'm having to empty the storage box at the back and I need my strength for that. So I'm looking after my body and taking note of what, you know, I need to relax when I, when I should. And then, then I won't feel so poorly. I, unfortunately, I push myself. I'm rabbiting on now. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday afternoon and it is 20 past one. The good thing about this campsite at Willow Farm Retreat is... There's no time limit to get off, so I was taking my time, and what I was doing was making, trying to get these nightmare swivel seats 
to work first time. So I took my time, they didn't stress me out, I didn't hate them, they worked. So my what I need to do in the future is not rush. So I've taken my time, absolutely brill. I've also been trying an extended handbrake and this is the pin for it. Now it was the first time I've been away with this extended handbrake and the seats were around really good. So I'll just show you it with it down. So that's with it down. So the pin goes in there and then when I put the pin in it comes up here and it's really good. It's I don't have to lean over so this is a fantastic piece of addition to this van. Take me about an hour and 15 minutes to get home, not too far. It keeps raining off and on just need to shut my door it's decided to rain so i just want to say a big thank you to jeff and kate for a brilliant weekend i'm looking forward to the 1940s so i hope you enjoyed this video and i am away again in the next couple of weeks so i look forward to seeing you all on the next trip take care everybody bye <laughs>